Both Ohio and federal law already prohibit foreign interests from participating in candidate races. Therefore, this bill simply closes a finance, campaign finance loophole for issue campaigns. This has been on the books for federal law since 1972, I believe, on the books for Ohio law for candidate elections since 1999. Um, and actually, there's an Elections Commission opinion issued in 2021 that says that Ohio law already prohibits uh, expenditures by groups that receive money from foreign nationals on issues campaigns, even though the same uh, prohibition is already uh, expressly in place for candidate uh, elections. So this is something that also seeks to fortify Ohio law and, and eliminate any ambiguity because very clearly that Elections Commission uh, opinion did not stop entities like the 1630 Fund from pouring tens of millions of dollars into the state of Ohio over the last 12 months on these issues campaigns. Senate Bill 215 also specifies that the expenditures made during the signature gathering phase, including expenditures made to defeat or frustrate signature gathering, are subject to the requirements of the bill and cannot be funded by foreign interests. Wherever the voters decide to go on these issues campaigns, that is up to them. That's something that I think we have to, we have to look at and we have to uh, respect the will of the voters on those campaigns. But I think all Ohioans should be able to universally agree that we want uh, the people who are participating in these elections to actually be citizens of the United States. They should not be people from foreign countries who are trying to uh, put their invisible hand some way into these elections and influencing them unduly um, against, uh, against the laws of the state of Ohio or other states or even federal law. Where was the genesis that the two senators came up with this thought? Through the chairman, I can tell you that I recently learned of this Swiss billionaire um, throwing all this money into Ohio, Ohio's ballot initiatives. And you've got to wonder, what interest does a foreign national have in changing Ohio's constitution? It's wrong. Americans do not want foreign nationals influencing their elections. And each of us has the right to know that the foundation of our democracy is protected against foreign interference. But while the media has spent considerable time focusing on threats abroad from Russia and China, comparatively little attention has been paid to the torrent of foreign money flowing into American politics from foreign nationals like billionaire activist Hans-Jörg Wies. Mr. Wies is one of the largest political donors in the United States, but he is not an American citizen. How does this impact Ohio? In less than a year, that little-known but well-funded 1630 fund has funneled over $14 million into three Ohio ballot measures. One person, one vote, Ohioans united for reproductive rights, and citizens, not politicians. That's right. The same group that has received almost $250 million from a foreign national has turned around and spent over $14 million right here in Ohio. And there's more spending to come. Citizens Not Politicians, an ironic name given the ties to foreign funds, is currently collecting signatures in Ohio. Given their deep pockets, we can expect even more backing to come from 1630 Fund. This pipeline of foreign cash into Ohio politics should be stopped. We should all be looking at this as a matter of uh, trust and integrity that our voters have in our election process to know that this isn't something that is being unduly influenced by people from either side of the aisle or either side of the issue who aren't even citizens of this country. To be clear, this campaign finance reform measure will ensure that all of Ohio's elections are not impacted by foreign influences, and it'll better protect Ohio, Ohio's elections from foreign interests hiding behind dark money entities like 501c4s.